Hello everyone, it's Mrs Miller here. I'm going to tell you the story of the day Mum became a monster. Jack and George are surprised when Mum becomes a monster. Everything felt so ordinary on the afternoon that Mum became a monster. Hi boys, how was your day at school? asked Mum. The boys didn't reply. They dropped their school bags in the middle of the kitchen. They kicked off their shoes and socks and left them in little piles. It was a hot afternoon and it felt so good to have their bare feet on the tiles. George plopped down into the chair. Get me a scone, Mum, he said. Mum did not reply right away. Perhaps in hindsight, her fingers gripped the kettle a little tighter, an animal instinct flaring up in her human body. Was there a moment when the inevitable mightn't have happened? when her spirit might have valiantly battled to escape her human form, neither Jack nor George could late to say. What they both agree upon is that a small and snarly growl was heard. Jack thought it was their dog, Bentley, until he realised that the dog was in the backyard. But then the moment passed. Mum turned around. Have you washed your hands? she asked sweetly. Sorry, Mum, said the boys. We forgot. And there, who could blame them? There were a billion more important things to think about, like football, cards and cricket games. They went to wash their hands in the kitchen sink. They splashed water everywhere. That was no problem. Mum was already standing beside them with a towel in her hand, ready to dry down the mess. It was uncanny how she was always able to tell when Jack and George would accidentally splash something or drop something. But, Jack, whispered George, what was it? Jack followed his brother's eyes, Mum still smiling, the towel in her hand, but there was something tight and strained about her smile, something menacing about the way she held the cloth, ready to wipe down the surfaces. George looked like he'd seen something dark in the tightness of her grin, in the strain of her eyes, as though an interior war waged beneath her skin. It was somehow beastly. Then Mum became herself once more. It was unnerving. George, my sweet, is there something the matter? Uh, nothing, he stammered. I didn't say anything. The two boys ate their scones very quietly now. Mum was normal while they ate, but then Jack poured his sugar on the scone instead of using his spoon. It spilt onto the table and the floor. Something twitched. Mum looked a strange shade of teal. They ate and drank more quickly. Milk was spilt and crumbs fell onto the table. Let's get out of here, whispered Jack to George. They left their plates and cups where they were and escaped the kitchen, not bothering to pick up their school bags and tripping over their discarded socks. From the safety of their bedroom, they heard a sudden almighty roar. Uh-oh! The wild beast flailed in the kitchen for several long minutes. Saucepans banged, books were smashed. Jack and George peeked around the corner of their bedroom and saw their mother had grown wild feet and gnashing teeth. Her body had swelled to three times its normal size. There was hair everywhere, in clumps on the floor and trailing a path to the bathroom where a tap had been ferociously started and a vigorous squeal of scrubbing ran down the hall. It was terrifying. What's happened to Mum? Jack cried. She's become a monster. She's on a rampage. What's she done with our real mother? He looked wildly around the room. They had no weapons, only toys and toothbrushes, Lego blocks and books. George took an encyclopedia and a pencil. Jack equipped himself with a pillow. Together they opened the door a crack and carefully, ever so carefully, peeked their heads around the corner to smack right into Dad. He was walking down the hall. He took one look at the boys and sensed the fear in their eyes. He stopped, amused. What on earth are you doing? Mum's a monster, George told him. Ah, well, do you think pillows and a pencil are going to help? Dad told them what they needed to fight the monster. When they picked up their dirty socks and put them in the laundry, her size decreased. When George went and got a cloth and wiped up their mess, her teeth stopped gnashing. When they gave her a hug and said hello, she was completely back to normal. It was fascinating magic. Jack and George never forgot how to tame the monster after that. 
and they needed to remember it because one day when they came out of the pool, Dad turned into a monster. Eek! The end. <laughs>